Bye. Tell everybody, who, who are you today? Uh, say hello to my Facebook family. Uh, uh, you already on. They see you. They see you it's already. It's kind of crazy. Uh -huh. I'm here with Drake, and I'm Drake Daddy. Okay, okay. Crazy. All uh right. -huh. So we got a Halloween contest competition going on around here. My son here. is Drake, and I'm Drake. I'm Dennis Graham. You're Dennis Graham? It's kind of crazy. Drake, how you doing? Crazy. You good? Okay, all right. Your, your, your mustache oh, kind, crazy, of, baby. kind of falling off there. Who's your barber? <laughs> Drake is my barber. <laughs> it kind of, have you heard my hit song? I need y'all to log on. Uh, we'll go, go on your Instagrams. I uh, got a new hit song out. It's called It's Kind of Crazy. Okay. Oh, it's crazy, yeah. baby. Can we, can we hear from Drake? Drake? Up, Drake? You want to holler at him? What's he going to say to the people? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so I, yeah. I trimmed up Drake's beard. He ain't want to rock the mustache like me. Okay, I'm glad. So can't well, nobody else rock a mustache okay. like me. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> it's kind of right. crazy. All right, all right. Oh, it's crazy, all baby. Right. We'll let, we let you. That's yeah, a hit. You are. That's a hit. Y'all should be playing it on this station. Yeah, yeah. Well, stand in line. Stand in line back there with Bill Black. It's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, you think has to win? I don't know. I can't say because I'm a judge. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's why he came here first. I need to hurry up and get in the contest for my mustache fall off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, what's up, everybody? Happy weekend to you. You can see uh, some people are celebrating um, Halloween this uh, today, this weekend. When is Halloween? Next week? When is it? I think it's Tuesday. Why, why are people celebrating it early? I don't know. They just want to get a head start on. A head start of Halloween. Yeah. I'm confused on that one. Candy. Yeah. What's up to everybody checking in? How are you, Curtis? What's going on? What's good to you? All right. We're going to help out this person today with their uh, real life dilemma, real life situation. Feel free to share the video with your friends and family and get their take. Uh, Kenya read this earlier, and, and I really couldn't believe that, that this. It sounds stupid. <laughs> I don't want to sound offensive to the person who sent it in, but come on, woman. Diana, what's going on? Nicole. Oh, you guys check it in. How y'all doing today? What's going on? Shay, what's going on? Don, how you doing? What's good, everybody? All right, let's dive into this thing and uh, see if we can help this person out with their real-life dilemma. All right. Dear Sam, my husband and I dated for many years, got engaged a little over a year ago, mm -hmm. so needless to say, we're newlyweds. Mm -hmm. My husband has always been a happy-go-lucky, knows everybody, greets everybody, and even an insistent flirt most of the time. One of the things that attracted me to him was his bubbly, overly social personality, but the way he greets people has got to change now that we're married. You see, he's a hugger, and when he sees women he knows out and about, he hugs them and kisses them on the lips. Nothing romantic, but it's still on the lips. We had our first little fight about this. He says, kisses mean nothing, not to, mench not to mention it wasn't like a secret that he greeted folks that way. He said, I never made it an issue before. Plus, he doesn't want people to think that he's acting funny now, mm -hmm. especially since I'm not that loving social bunny he is. Mm -hmm. I told him that we are married now, and it's just not a good look. Can you help us? It's not a good look, period. Yeah. You know who used to do that kissing every woman on the lips? Who? Richard Dawson. Huh. I know somebody who does that now, and it's weird. I have to, like, turn my face. They try to kiss you? Every time I see them. No, no. Really no, nice no. person, just... Woman, man? A man. Really sweet. Did you ever ask them why the hell you do that? It's, they just go in naturally. You know how people reach out for a handshake? Well, they go in for the kiss. No, no, no. What's up, Nicole? Uh, Eugenia Cash, how you doing? Uh, Tiny, what's going on? What y'all think about that? Folks just kissing somebody on the lips as they greet people. It's your fault. You knew your husband before you married was kissing women on the lips. <laughs> and you didn't say nothing. You just wanted to be his wife and thought maybe it'll change. Now, it's not changing. No. You did it. It's your fault. 
But what what can you say if that's someone's personality, if that's how they they move and you never said anything before? And you gotta deal with it. Yeah. Now, you can go and tell him how you feel, but I'm kind of like, well, you told him already. He's like, well, I was doing this before we got married. I kissed your sister on the lips. I kissed your mom on the lips. Right. I kissed your daughter on the lips. Why are you trying to stop all the kissing going on? That's how I greet people, baby. Uh, herpes, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> you get a nice big one on there, huh? Something. <laughs> this is too much exposure for me. What, huh? what do you guys say about that? Uh, Tracy said, hugging is one thing, but kissing? Uh, no. No. Nah. Yuck. No. Nah. That, that's a little much. No. Nah. Has anybody ever tried to kiss you hello? Kiss hello? It didn't happen if they did. Right. You just have to do the yeah, little yeah, quick Yeah, curve. on a jaw. Not, no one's never just came to me trying to kiss me on the lips. Yeah. I get I, I get the lips. Nah. Yeah. 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 Uh, Tashana said, uh, WTF? Oh, hell no. You should have said something a long time ago a while y'all were dating. Ago. He's going to end up with a, a a bum bump. <laughs> the hell, you just kissing somebody. A bum bump? <laughs> Probably a big old knot right here. A bum bump. Okay. Melissa said, well, apparently you accepted it while you were dating and engaged, so why have him change now? You should have made it an you issue. Knew. And talk to him about maybe changing how he greeted other women during the time before you you all got married. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yavel said, uh, laughing my ass off. Oh my God! If you accepted this long, you really don't care. How could women tolerate such behavior from a boyfriend, let alone a husband? The respect was gone the first time you allowed it. Friendly ass. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, just just think about that. You know, you, you know, your man, your husband now, he just didn't kiss about five women that day on the lips. Mm. One of them women was a, uh, who just got through making some some uh, oral love. Right. That's that's what my thought would be. So I don't know if you play fair. Just, I don't know. She what just you got do. through doing some oral love. Yeah. And then she, you know, on, on her lunch break. <laughs> Her boot and met her up. Translate and then, back to you, huh? <laughs> and then, hey! Mwah, ooh, yeah, that's... The little mad sure. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> ah, what's up, Kim? Uh, what's going on, uh, Dana? <laughs> uh, uh, is that N- Nikki? Nikki? Nikki Cole? What up with it? Yeah. Now, Karen said, allegedly, you knew who your husband was. His innocent flirting was no big deal before. That's what attracted you to him. You really need to check yourself. Now is not the time to be insecure. You would benefit from some work on your esteem. Hey, Phyllis, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Tracy, Rashonda, uh, Choicey? Yeah, man, there's no way. (laughs) There's no way. There, There are certain things that you see... When you first meet somebody, you can be attracted to somebody, right? Mm-hmm. And then they could do one thing that you know you can't deal with, and then you just say, I'm cool. Right. In your dating life, you had to say, I'm cool. We're not doing that. Right. But instead, you went on and you allowed it. So I wonder how it was when he came over to meet her family. The, probably the same thing they was talking about him. Like, did you just see him kiss me on my yeah. Did you kiss me on yeah. my Yeah. I know my mom. I can't even imagine what my mother would have said. Right, I'm coming over here. to kiss you. Kissing your mama in the lips. <laughs> and your daddy sitting there like, hey, man, what the hell wrong with you? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, just Call Me Char said, start doing the same thing he does and see how he feels about it since he won't respect you enough to listen to you. <laughs> so both of them just be running around uh, kissing people. Yeah. Um, Selena, Pamela, how you doing, Pamela? Go ahead. Selena said, uh, "WTF? Um, first off, you stupid. <laughs> Laugh out loud. No way, I'm letting my friend, fiance, husband kiss anyone else on the lips in front of me. I've met overly friendly guys before, and that's because they were pervs. Have you ever heard of herpes, HPV, and HIV AIDS? Too late, you're stuck with them." You would have. Yeah. 
And Regina said, you should have been addressed this situation You, if you had an issue with it. First mistake, always stay true to thine self. Secondly, since you have brought it to his attention as your husband, it's his responsibility to change anything that bothers you as his wife. Balls in his court, handle it accordingly. Yeah, that's, that's you know, you, you can, like I said, you can address it. It's going to take some time because that's what he's been used to. But if he cares, he can change it. He can fix it. I don't. I, I do think that some things that that as you grow in your in your marriage, even though you were used to doing something, if it offends someone else, uh, you can work on that. But some should things. you have to fix? Should you have to fix yourself if that is if you were honest about who you were True. coming into the relationship? Should you then be fixed because they knew who you were? All the stuff that girl just said and read. I mean, that you read about what the girl said. Mm -hmm. The way she did tell him is, look, you know what you can catch on your lips? Right. Because that's that's me. You do need to fix it if it's going to buy, if it's going to uh, uh, potentially harm me. But he knew it. She knew it. I mean, she knew. Yeah, she did. That he did that. She did. That, that's that's why I said it's your fault. But it doesn't mean that you cannot address it again and 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 make a decision. Right. Because somebody going to slip some tongue in there. Yeah. Somebody going to slip some tongue. Mm. Uh, is he just kissing new women he meet to? <laughs> well, she said people that he's known. You know. Okay, these people he's known. So all these people are used to him kissing them on the lips. Mm. That's just like in, in, the, in Italian families. They do a lot of that. They kiss yeah. the boys, the men. That's just what they do. Absolutely. That's That's the way that they greet. Mm -hmm. That's their. That's some of their culture. Am I right? You're right. And the the person who tries to kiss me all the time, um, you know, it's it's so innocent, and mm -hmm. they just reach in to kiss me. And no, 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 no. Yeah. Listen here. Uh, I I I I used to kiss my sons on the lip mm -hmm. when they were babies. Right. Once they start growing into people walking. <laughs> no more lips. Huh? No more lips. Yeah. You kiss them on the jaw, on, on the forehead. Cheek, okay. Yeah, that's right. I agree. You don't get to, come here, grown ass man. Give me a kiss, boy. Right. Oh. We don't even want to start no habits. <laughs> yeah. I know Baby and Bird, well, Birdman and Little Wayne was doing it. Well, they also admitted to doing a lot more. Uh, all right, come on. You got more, more of your, your folk here. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me get back to that one. That's hilarious, man. Harrison, you knew who he was before you married him. Absolutely. Greeting kisses in today's society with all the diseases and germs. Oh, no. So girl knew she was getting with and no change. Too late. Yeah. Where is the respect? It is. Dr. Terry. Uh, Amokawa said, uh, you don't need anything from us. Keep loving him that way. You knew he was like that before you agreed to marry him. Why is it an issue now? Why? Oh, why? <laughs> and Felicia said, you knew he was Richard Dawson before you married That's him. That's right. Uh, if you were accepting of it before, don't try to change him now. I believe this is why a lot of men don't want to marry because we try to change those cute things. That's, that goes back to what you said. She knew that was him. Should approach and have to change. Right. She should have addressed that then and said, "Will this be a problem if we were ever married?" Mm -hmm. And then he would have replied back, "I think I'm getting the answer. Thank you." Okay. What's the answer? This is to to something I was asked, something I needed to know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got it. Well, Angela said, "Too late. If you have a problem with it now, you had a problem with it then. Don't yeah. try to change."